Hey guys, uh, I will present to you uh, my new album, the cover of my new CD. Yeah, looks like a CD. <laughs> well, this is uh, I, I made this this little um, picture here to uh, talk about something. So the the black inner part here is uh, my character mesh, and that's something I will um, set my my mesh to. Oh, let me just kill that one moment. And well, the pawn is going to be uh, the setting we will be using for our collision capsule. And then we have all the grey ones, which are going to be the, let's call them the dynamic foliage, as you can see here. So these are representing the, the, the live blueprints. And then we have the foliage sphere that we just introduced. So that is going to be able to collide with all the static foliage. So it knows when to activate them and turn them into dynamic foliage. And we not need to all these here to be able to control the, the collision, really, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hide that away. And uh, we're going to see if we can represent this in, uh, in the collision settings for our project here. So go into collision. And, yeah, we need... Um, three or four new object types. I'm going to set everything to ignore because I want to set everything to uh, act specifically myself so I don't get some unwanted behavior. So uh, one of them is going to be the static foliage and let's just create all of them. And the other one was dynamic. So that's going to represent the blueprints. And then we have the, uh, the sphere, the foliage sphere which is representing when we should convert um, foliage to uh, blueprints and uh, we have maybe I haven't really decided if we need this char my character mesh uh, I think we do my okay uh, yeah, okay, so everything is set to ignore right now. And the thing about these settings here is, uh, I think maybe I mentioned this uh, in the beginning, or maybe I didn't, I can't remember. But um, normally when you uh, have a character, for example, uh, you have a com capsule component or a mesh or whatever, uh, most things have an object type. And object types are the, just the ones that we just selected, uh, added four new of. Um, but the thing is, if we, um, let's close that one and that one and save all. Um, when you select this one and scroll down to the um, collision settings here, you will notice that um, we have presets. We have some behavior for the collision enabled, uh, but we don't have an object type. So for our foliage, we don't really know uh, what type it is um, being represented as. So um, we will only be able to do that by um, creating a preset. And let's bring out the preset window, or uh, the, yeah, the project settings again. So in here, if we made it, make a new preset, so let's, for example, make the static foliage again. Um, we want to query on list that means that uh, we don't want to look at physics collisions for this. Um, and when you select this preset, we want to be treating or uh, viewing uh, this uh, physics body as a static foliage. So that's essentially what we are setting here. I don't want to spend time on setting the description, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to set everything to ignore here and say, OK, all I need these to be able to respond to is actually my foliage sphere uh, for now. So I'm going to set that to block. Uh, we don't want to set this to overlap because uh, generating overlap events is not going to give us access to the individual uh, instance uh, foliage mesh components. Oh, I can't remember the name. So we need to be blocking this. So that means um, for the static, um, oh, sorry, the um, foliage sphere, uh, we need to have a similar response. 
Um, so, uh, let's see. We don't have any uh, any preset for this, so just to make this a little bit clearer and easier, I'm not really sure this is the, the preferred way to do it. Um, but I'm gonna make a foliage sphere preset also, and that's gonna be query only also, and it's gonna treat itself as a foliage sphere. And the same deal here, we only want to respond to um, static foliage, so that's all we're gonna respond to. Now, um, the dynamic foliage is going to be a setting that we will be using for our blueprints. So um, let's make one for this as well. And the collision will be happening actually only on using physics, I believe. Um, And it will be, uh, when we set this, so we will be setting this for the, the Blueprints uh, version. So we'll be assuming that we are at dynamic foliage. And let's set everything to not respond. So all we want to be overlay our blocking is actually our character mesh. Um, Width. Hmm. <laughs> this may be not, not be a good idea actually when I think of it because uh, we might run into a problem. I seem to remember that if we don't set physics body for this, okay, let's try and go th down this path maybe i'm mistaken but yeah so our character is going to be colliding with this only um okay so we have three down here and the last one we may want to make is one for our character so i'm aware that i'm Kind of making the double uh, a, a double setup here, but um, this is just to make things easy to administer in, inside the collision settings, so uh, you don't have to select constantly select custom and play around with stuff. You just just set it up once here. So um, let's select my character mesh, and we will only collide with um, actually both because. Our character still wants to maybe, well, yeah. So anyway, um, he will be uh, assuming he's uh, the identity of a character mesh, uh, and he want to. Uh, let's see. He wants to have the visibility to be blocking. He's gonna be very much like my character. Um, actually, let's just hit OK to this for, for one, and double click the character mesh. So we actually want the same setup here, so we want to ignore visibility, we want to block camera and block block. Let's um, just gonna do something because I think this might be a good idea. I'm gonna take a copy of this and bring it over to the other screen. I'm just gonna make that same setup for our um, my character mesh. Um, so pawn, ignore. Physics body block vehicle. Hmm. Okay. Right. So it, originally this was set to pawn, by the way. But um, since we need to be able to to pass through them, I set this to something different. Um, so that's the reason why that is set up like that. And uh, we not need to be able to step onto our interact. Um, block make a blocking um, check with our uh, dynamic foliage and um, I think that's it so those were the changes that we made so this is the comparison so um, basically just changed 
uh, I think this one, dynamic foliage, and otherwise, and, and then this one up here. Okay, so let's get that out of the way and hit accept. Okay, so that should be our um, collision settings, I believe. Let's test this out. Um, so, let's see, sometimes you need to click around a few times to see see them here. Oh, it's here. Okay, so for the foliage here, we want to select static foliage. And for our, let's go into the character mesh. Um, the capsule is set to pawn still, that's okay. Uh, the mesh is set to some custom. Uh, why not just set that to my character mesh? Um, and uh, let's see our um, our blueprint fern. This guy here. I prefer this uh, layout, by the way. Just gonna click that. Um, it's gonna have select the skeleton mesh. Gonna have a collision setting um, as a dynamic foliage and the last thing was the um, foliage sphere so I'll select that one and select the foliage sphere so let's test this out now so as you can see we can move around now and we are getting a sphere hit every time we run into something so so far so good we're not getting uh, anything all our foliage is now dead because we didn't move the logic yet uh, so that's what we're gonna do in um, yeah well let's see let's do it now okay um, yeah so we have the event tech on our character uh, let's go ahead and disconnect that one because uh, we don't need that right now. Uh, let's see, we have to pull out this stuff here. So copy that for now and paste it into the foliage sphere um, and connect up uh, from the on component here um, the hit we can connect up from here and let's see we will always have a hit uh, so we're actually not interested in checking anything here um, let's see um, we don't have the um, the, uh, the array of active foliages, so let's create that here. Like that, go away. And um, that disconnected this one, so let's connect it again. Did it also disconnect something else? No. I think that's um, that's okay. Okay, so now we uh, detecting when we overlap or something. So technically, we should be able to um, collide with stuff again, as you can see. And we can also see that. Uh, let's say um, uh, show collision. We can see that our um, mesh is able to pass through things hopefully you can see that but once we step on things we are gonna collide with it uh, so the uh, settings that we made are working so far so good um, if we turn on um, wireframe mode we can see all the gray ones are the uh, the blueprint versions so once we approach them um, get inside the, the the capsule we can see they are getting uh, activated or converted so that's a very uh, nice 
uh, thing that we have that running now. And um, I think we will um, actually continue uh, in the next video with this. So we will uh, f uh, be able to finish this transition or this uh, migration of the, the code from our third person character onto the Fourier sphere. So stay tuned and um, see you in the next. Bye bye.